Temperatures are cold out there this morning. You want to make sure you and the kiddos are bundled up. Temperatures are ranging from the upper 20s to the lower to mid 30s across the area. 36 in Seattle. Good morning in Bremerton. 32 degrees, 28 in Forks. So those temperatures, they are chilly. Average low in the lower 40s. There's an area of low pressure off of the southwestern Washington coast. We're keeping an eye on this because it's starting to pull in that moisture into southwestern interior parts of Washington into the South Sound. You can see that right now. If you do have travel or plans from from Chehalis up to Olympia along I-5. There could be one or two snowflakes mixing in with some raindrops there. Not expecting anything heavy, no accumulations, but don't be surprised if you see one or two snowflakes hit the windshield. And that's eventually going to work its way along I-5 toward Tacoma. So there's that possibility that Lacey as well as Lakewood Tacoma get in on a little bit of a light rain snow mixture over the next couple of hours. I do want to point out this is a little more impressive on radar than what we are actually seeing. Some of this is evaporating before reaching the ground, but again, don't be surprised if you see a few raindrops or snowflakes out there this morning. We're also seeing a new area that's developing near the Hood Canal and the Kitsap Peninsula. So from Shelton to uh, Bremerton, if you have a commute this morning, there could be one or two uh, raindrop snowflakes along the way through uh, uh, Allen, Great View, as well as Belfair. Taking a look at the future radar, it's going to be really similar over uh, today compared to what we've seen the past few days. We have that area of snow continuing to lift into the South Sound and the Kitsap Peninsula, but that is going to uh, start to dissipate as we work our way into latter parts of the morning into the afternoon hours. And then we're going to see that activity mainly this afternoon uh, for the southwest interior as well as south sound. But you can't rule out one or two showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm as you work your way into uh, Pierce, King and Snohomish counties. Taking a look at the temperatures this afternoon, it's going to be chilly. Average high is in the uh, upper 50s, 59 in Seattle. We are only going to hit 51 this afternoon in some areas as you work your way a little bit farther west over the Olympic Peninsula. Those temperatures are going to stay in the mid 40s this afternoon, so about 15 degrees below average. It looks like it's going to be dry in Seattle throughout the morning into the lunchtime hour, but then as we work our way into the afternoon, that's when we start to see a little bit of uh, sun breaks, allowing for one or two showers to develop out there, possibly just in time for the evening commute. Taking a look at the seven day forecast, this pattern, it's going to stick around, but on a positive note, our temperatures do increase into the mid 50s by Friday. I think it's going to be dry for the Mariners game versus the Astros, and then we see those temperatures pretty nice on Sunday as well. Highs in the mid 50s, mid 50s for Monday ahead of our next storm system that increases the rain chances and drops those high temperatures into the lower 50s.